go to God and ask God what's going on in our bodies. All right, um, another example of this from my, my own personal history is, and this was before what happened, you know, five, six years ago, maybe 10 years ago, I had an employer that I was afraid of. I didn't know I was afraid of it at the time, at the time. But every time I would be in the presence of this employer, my nose start running, <laughs> my eyes start watering. I mean, it was a full-blown allergic reaction. And, you know, this person asked me what was wrong, and I said, oh, I have allergies, you know. But I only had allergies in their presence, <laughs> okay? And I never put one and one together to, you know, connect the fact that I was afraid of this person. And, you know, that the fear is what was causing the, the allergic reaction. Now, you know, now, now that I know, of course, that's not the case. But even, okay, some of you may know that I was healed of lupus discoid, too. Um, and a bunch of other things. But the lupus discoid, that went away fairly quickly without much effort. The food sensitivities and the allergies, it took me about two years to get through this. Because like I said, I had been enrolled in the devil's fear class. And I had to do a renewing of my mind. And he still tries to tempt me sometimes, OK? Like I said, with the, um, you know, and being in the presence of someone that I may be afraid of, which I'm, I'm walking out of fear of man, OK? Um, when I get those symptoms, I don't reach for the antihistamine anymore. I handle it in my heart. And I tell the devil, I fall out of agreement with fear, get away from me, and then I take my peace. And guess what? The symptoms go away. OK? All right, so you know, the devil can make our body react to all sorts of allergens. Um, but like I said, you know, we 